It's been four long years and many debates over whether or not President Jacob Zuma and his family had indeed unduly benefited, as per the public protector's findings, from the 246 million rand security-related upgrades to his private home. Now, Police Minister Natin Tleko hopes to put the matter to rest. He's found that the swimming or fire pool, crawl, chicken run, amphitheater and visitor center disputed by the public protector are in fact necessary security features. Accordingly, the state president is therefore not liable to pay for any of these security features. He adds that due to all ongoing investigations into Nkandla, other crucial security features had to be delayed. Further security upgrades will now need to be completed as soon as possible. The outstanding security-related work at Ingandla should be funded and completed expeditiously, including the re-evaluation of the current physical security measures. In this instance, the laws and prescripts are to be followed to the letter. The ANC has welcomed the report. For us, uh, the, as you might be aware, the report is in the hands of the Speaker and uh, it uh, now uh, paves the way for the creation of a parliamentary mechanism to consider it. Meanwhile, Public Works Minister Tulas Nnesi says disciplinary actions against 11 government officials implicated in improper actions on Gandla have been delayed as they await the outcome of a high court decision. We are ready to proceed with the remaining 11 matters affecting those 11 officials and we await the conclusion of the High Court proceedings. And we want to emphasize here, High Court proceedings, which were brought by the media, who have requested access to the disciplinary proceedings. The report, which has now been tabled in Parliament, will be referred to the Ad Hoc Committee on Nkandla, which is expected to sit soon. Lukanyo Kalada, SABC News. Parliament. Now, EFF leader Julius Malema says his party will not give up on its efforts to have President Jacob Zuma pay back some of the money spent at his Nkandla home. Malema was speaking at Kanyamazane in Mpumalanga last night. He is on a week-long visit in the province to listen to problems faced by the residents. The community members have raised issues ranging from service delivery, education, corruption 